Hey, this is a quick tip on how to boot your computer into BIOS. So if you're on Windows, this is quite simple. You can just click on the power menu, hold down the shift key and click on restart. That will then boot your computer into a kind of uh, maintenance mode, if you like, and you have some options. If you select troubleshoot, go to advanced, go to UEFI firmware settings and press enter to restart, your computer should boot into BIOS. Now this option isn't available on everyone's PC, so if you don't see that, then your next best alternative is going to be to um, discover the keyboard shortcut that's used to boot into BIOS. So some systems will actually display the keyboard shortcut that you need to press when your computer restarts. So basically when this screen shows, if you press the, one of those combinations, then that action will happen. So in this case, to get into the BIOS, I press delete on the keyboard of the DEL key there. And if you just keep tapping it while this screen's available, it will then launch into the BIOS. And this particular computer has other options. I can boot into a system information screen or a boot menu. That's handy if you want to boot from a USB stick or a different drive. And the end key there will uh, enable flashing so I could download a, a BIOS update and use the QFlash utility there to update my BIOS. Um, but this screen on my particular computer flashes for just a split second and on some computers you won't even see that information at all. So in that case we need to go to find the computer's manual or at least search on the manufacturer's website. So I managed to find a PDF manual from the manufacturer of my motherboard in my computer. Now my computer isn't a mass produced one, so I looked up the motherboard manufacturer's website. Um, but if yours is a mass produced computer like from HP or Dell or somebody like that, then obviously there's a good place to start there. And your computer, if it is mass produced, will most likely have some sort of ID number or something that you can search for to hopefully find that manual. Failing that, you can just guess. You can just tap the delete key because it's pretty common that it delete key boots or it's an F key like F12 or F2. It's quite a common thing. Just to add, you might find that wireless keyboards don't always work in this process. So you might need a wired keyboard to make sure it actually boots. Okay, so now I know my keyboard shortcut, all I'm going to do is reset the computer, keep tapping the delete key in this case, and it should boot me into BIOS. So there we go, that wasn't too bad. Hopefully you've managed to get booted into your BIOS. Um, your BIOS will probably look different to mine, depending on your computer. And between the manufacturers, obviously the options are different. And also the terminology can be different. So you might be looking for a particular feature you knew from one computer, but it's just called something different on another. So you might need to Google and uh, try and work out what's what. Whatever settings you change, you can save before you reboot the computer, or you can choose not to save it in case you mess something up and you don't want to go in there and have to work out what you did. Uh, you've often got an option to save a profile, so you could have one for gaming or something like that. And uh, that's about it, really. Hopefully this tip was useful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to subscribe, please do that. Thanks for watching.